And we continue with that news out of Washington. As President Biden gives himself a tight deadline to nominate Justice Breyer's replacement, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer vowed to make the confirmation process quick as Republicans gear up for a showdown. So Weijia Jiang is joining me now from the White House to talk a little bit more about this. Um, Weijia, so we have sort of been hearing some names being batted around, possible shortlist. Do we know how lawmakers feel about some of the names that we're hearing on both sides? Uh, well, I think Democrats will support, for the most part, um, whoever President Biden chooses. They haven't exactly been vocal about the candidates on his list, but they have talked about um, this historic moment since President Biden has made clear whoever he picks will be the first black woman nominated to the Supreme Court. Republicans, on the other hand, are saying something differently. For his part, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says he will take a fair look at whoever the president nominates. Um, but then you have uh, others like Senator Tom Cotton who are more forceful than that in saying that he hopes the president doesn't nominate yet another uh, left-wing ideologue as he has done, perhaps pointing to um, the federal judges that the president has already nominated. But you did see a short list of names right there um, a couple moments ago. So there is one floating out there. Uh, the question is who he's actually going to nominate. And we should know that by the end of next month, according to the president. So whoever he nominates, though, is not going to change the balance of the court, right? There's still going to be right. six conservatives, uh, three liberals. That being said, outside of the court, what sort of impact could this nominee have when it comes to the midterm elections, the Democratic Party, some of the promises that the president has made? This is a huge impact, Anne-Marie, because unlike with legislation, which, by the way, has been stalled for President Biden, whoever takes this seat is going to have an impact for decades to come. And so, you know, the next time there is um, a Republican president in the White House, he could easily undo some of the uh, policies under the Biden administration. But this is the Supreme Court. So it sends a really important message to voters and to the Democratic Party that are really looking for a win right now because there have been so many losses um, and not as much progress as they would have liked on the president's agenda. And so uh, certainly they are eyeing the 2022 midterms coming up because this is going to be something that voters uh, think about and will actually be pretty fresh on their minds as they head to the ballot box. Weijia Jang at the White House. Thank you so much, Weijia.